Oh, man. Okay, so last segment. We were talking about this King 5 live shot where a young woman confronted reporter Meg Coyle at the bottom of a sledding hill on Queen Anne. Buses are coming through here, too, and as I mentioned, a number of close calls, but still fun to watch. just stopped because of your reporting. Thank you so much for ruining the fun. Total, complete killjoy. All right, well. Something that's gone on for a decade, and you've ruined it. Okay, okay. Wow, 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 wow. All right, that's Meg Coyle at the base of Queen Anne Hill. Okay, so that was live on King 5. The woman who confronted Meg Coyle is calling in to the big show right now. Uh, Nicole is calling. Hello, Nicole. Welcome to the show. Sorry. Hey, Nicole. So now I'm so I'm horribly torn here, Nicole, because we were making fun of you a couple minutes ago, and Jake tells me you're a longtime listener to the show. Yes, I am. So, so now, that, now I feel defensive of you, Nicole. I like Meg Coyle, but if you're a longtime listener of the show, maybe I should swing over to your side in this dispute now. So you, you got to convince me. Okay. Okay, but, now, but wait, but for, hold on, Nicole. First, how do I know this is you? How, um, can, I don't know. Can, can we do a vocal match here? <laughs> I guess. What, okay. What do you need from me? Okay, uh, here, here's... You from the King Five clip yesterday. Thank you so much for ruining the fun. Total, complete killjoy. Okay, in that same tone of voice, <laughs> I want you to say to me, "Thank you so much for ruining the fun." Total, complete killjoy. So I can prove that this is actually you. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for ruining the fun. You are a total and complete killjoy. Thank you so much for ruining the fun. Total, complete killjoy. Hey, what do you think, Jake? Now we got same a vocal one? match. It's okay. <laughs> You know what? As soon as she got on the phone, I could tell it was her. All right, we we have we have now established a vocal match, Nicole. So I can I can pre- so I can proceed with the interview now. All right. Okay. So so what was going on there, Nicole? What happened there that that made you interrupt the King Five live shot? Well, I think what you need to understand is Meg Coyle began reporting repeatedly throughout the day, as you said, for fourteen some odd straight hours. But the crux of her reporting was yeah. continuously. The dangers of sledding down Queen Anne Hill and that she was appalled that the police kept driving by and couldn't believe that the police were doing nothing to ruin this horribly dangerous sledding situation. Wow. Okay, now you know that if you've been listening this week, you know I'm on your side on this one. Exactly. I've been, I've been in- watching that on the news from my house. I was snowed in like everyone else. Yeah. Well, later that day I walked over with my inner tube with my husband to yeah. do some sledding. And sure enough, the police showed up at the top of Queen Anne Hill. They sent two cars with four officers, and they were responsible for closing down Queen Anne Hill to sledding. No! Uh, Are you yes. serious? They closed Queen Anne Hill for sledding yesterday. And you think you think it's officers. King Five's fault that they did that? That's what the officers, in fact, told everyone at the top of the hill. Was that, you know, these officers were humiliated. No one signs up to protect and serve and winds up letting police. And they, they said, look, guys, we don't want to be here either. This is embarrassing. But uh, King Five's incessant reporting <laughs> on why we're not stopping the sledding has forced us to be here. Well, wait, so what do I have to do to get to get the cops out? Because I've been uh, announcing for two days that I was going to go out sledding outside. Uh, here's what I did last hour, Nicole, right outside the radio station. Okay, uh, I'm going for a little redemption here as I try to go down a steep hill. I am flying down this thing. Okay, it's not the best vocal quality. I've been practically begging the cops to come give me a ticket so I could get some publicity, and and King Five gets you guys shut down there. Hey, you just needed to call Meg Coyle. Oh man, <laughs> you need to get a yellow jacket out here. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> it made her very easy to identify at the bottom of the hill. Oh man, okay, but so so they so when you said she had just. Finished yet yeah. another soundbite on the dangers of sledding. And in fact, it was her verbiage being a killjoy. Yeah. That, oh, I know I'm being a killjoy, but this is really a dangerous situation with all this sledding. <sighs> and I just thought, I can't take it anymore. Wow. So, so that's when you thought it's time for Nicole to go interrupt their live shot and tell the Western Washington what King Five's really all about. 
Exactly. Okay. No, no, we've got to clean up a couple of other things here. Jake said he thought you looked about 20. Is that even close to your age? Uh, no, I'm uh, 33. 33, okay. She's a, you are a very young-looking 33. Congratulations. Well, now you're just kidding yeah, me. Yeah, you know what, Jake? That was so <laughs> transparent. You know, here's the other no, thing. No, hold on. I'm going to get to the other thing first. Hold on. And Jake also said he thought you had on a stupid-looking hat. That's Jake's <laughs> words, not mine. How many hats do Western Washingtonians own? It was the only snow hat I owned. No. That's a, that's a it's a it's a fair point. And I felt as soon as she told me that she was a longtime listener, I felt bad about calling the hat stupid. And I'm just thinking to myself, I have a stupid hat. That's we what I was just going to point out. Jake went out tubing with me or sledding with me last hour, Nicole, and he's got one of those hats with the long dopey ear flaps. So, so he looks like Pluto as he's out there on, on his little plastic desk. So, Nicole, yeah, no room to talk, Jake. No. I, I apologize. I shouldn't have called the hat stew. It's a very attractive hat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So here, let, let me listen one more time. Now, now that you've given me the history, I want to listen to your soundbite one more time from King 5, uh, Nicole, and see if I can hear it from with a fresh perspective. So here, here, All right. here we go, one more time. Buses are coming through here too, and as I mentioned, a number of close calls, but still fun to watch. just stopped because of your reporting. Thank you so much for ruining the fun. Total, complete killjoy. All Something right, that's well. gone on for a decade and you've ruined okay, it. Okay, okay. Uh, wah, 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 wah. Hey, you know what? We've been talking about Meg Coyle. What do you think about that wah, wah, wah from Dennis Bounds targeted at you, Nicole? <laughs> Well, just protecting this girl, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Nicole, you've completely right. swung me around to your side. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. You have a good day. All right. See you later. Hey, Dory. Dory, this is the, the number one video right now on TVSpy.com and AOL, and it's great looking at the uh, the print version of Dennis Bounds going wah, wah, wah. Right. Well, you were, now we're the only people in the world who have the, the real story. We, no, the, we're the, co- only the context one. of the story completely changes that 54-second yes. video. Absolutely. At first, I was seeing kind of a kind of a pain, yeah. somebody you'd want to get in their face, and now I, I see a hero. Okay, a <laughs> hero? Okay, tell you what, now, you got about five minutes for our next segment. Will you go get Meg Coyle on? Now more of Dory Monson on 97.3 Cairo FM. Oh, jeez, I'm going to get whiplash here. Okay, so we've got the video clip. It's up on my blog of Meg Coyle getting attacked by a tuber. Tuber's a longtime listener to the show. She calls in, says that Meg Coyle ruined 10 years of tradition. And now let me welcome to the show from King 5 Television, Meg Coyle. Hello, Meg. Hello, Dory. Okay, so now, Meg, I'm here telling everybody how sweet you are, how good you are on the air, and I'm defending you. Then I find out from Nicole... That you just ruined 10 years worth of tubing on Queen Anne Hill. So what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, I know. How could I? Because apparently I'm the only one who knew that information. I had the exclusive that people fled down a hill illegally. And nobody knew. But Meg. Suddenly because of me breaking the news story, (laughs) the Seattle police came to clear it. So as I said, I mean, I didn't realize that I was the boss of Seattle police, but... Mm -hmm. Evidently, I've been promoted. But, yeah, I mean, uh, what can I say? I had exclusive. No, nobody knew about it. But, Meg, she says, me. she says that you were practically begging the police to come out because they're so dangerous and irresponsible. Is that true? I don't remember begging the Seattle police to do anything. I remember citing the municipal code, uh-huh. which prohibits playing in streets. I also remember telling people and showing people during our live shots Yeah. Uh, sledders coming down the hill going way too fast, going right into traffic, oh, no. uh, inclu- including buses and cars and aid vehicles that are still using that main arterial. But who cares? Why, why is that any of your business, Meg? I think, I'm on, I think Nicole's won me over in this little debate here. Are you serious? Yeah. I was out sledding oh. live on my show last hour, Meg. Were you going to call the cops on me? Maybe. <laughs> I didn't call the cops on anybody. 
that's the thing. You know, I don't understand. I really don't understand what I said that nobody else was saying. I was doing live shots next to the Weather Channel, who every half hour was talking about it was illegal. I was doing live shots next to Como and Cairo, who were going every hour saying, yeah, by the way, this is illegal. Well, I obviously, no you just have, drive by. You have All more I power. All that it's icy, and be careful. Yeah, and, and by the way, can, can we talk to somebody about this stupid yellow jacket?